Hello you guys. We just finished constructing our wardrobe and we are here today to work in the accessories that go inside because when you have a wardrobe you don't keep it empty. Okay so the first thing that we're going to do are the clothes hangers. The clothes hangers have to fit inside your particular closet in this case mine and to measure that I know that this is the width of the inside of the closet so I think that if my clothes hanger was this wide I would have too much room on either side so I need a, something a little bit wider this one is just about the same size as the closet which means that if my hanger was exactly this width, I would have no room left for the clothes. I believe that this is the perfect size. Not too narrow and not exactly the same width, but it gives me an allowance for the clothes. Okay, so I tried working with a paper clip and I found that it's a little bit hard to maneuver. So I am going to be using these ties. I don't know if you can see this. Okay, these ties come in products that you buy. Sometimes they are holding the product to the packaging. Sometimes they are holding a cord that is wrapped. And then these ties hold it together. So the first thing that I need to do is straighten it. I can use my hands to do that. You can use the edge of your countertop. Um, and I have these straightening pliers that have nylon so that's not to damage the metal. In this case, it doesn't matter because the metal is not exposed. It's protected by a tubing of plastic. Okay, so having my my ties fairly, my wire fairly straight, I'm going to start with the white one because this one will clearly show what I'm doing here. So I'm going to cut it about five inches in length. Each one of my squares is one inch, so one, two, three, four, and five, which is just about what I have. about an inch and a half. So this is half of an inch and this is an inch. Okay, and this is where I'm going to place my ruler because my ruler is the size that we determined was the correct size. Both of them go up. At half, the longer one, the longer side, goes up. You can use your finger or you can use the plier, whichever you feel more comfortable with. And I'm going to try to make a sharp bend right here. Let me see if I can do it better with my... with my little plier here. And yes, this is sharper, so back into the mold. And this one is going to wrap around. I'm not very good with my left hand, so. And I'm going to try to do it. One and a half will be sufficient. Because this is soft wire, I can actually do it with my fingers. Okay, so this is now my two and a half. Second, this is, these are round. 
and what I will do right here is make a sharp bend and then right here start to do my round turn the way okay maybe I want this bent a little bit more and this one to come around so what I have right now is I need to trim the excess And then I'm going to tuck in, make it very close so there's no wire sticking out. And so I'll be able to make a few. Let's see if they go, if, the, if they work well with the rod that we have inside the closet. Very well. Will I be able to close the door? Perfect. Okay, so then I'll make a few more. I have some beads right here that I'm going to try and convert into bottles of perfume or lotions or such things as you would put inside your wardrobe or your vanity. And I'm going to use this glue E6000 because it's a gel doesn't dry right away and I can manipulate it better. So this is my container. And then this is going to be the lid. If I was using any other kind of glue, crazy glue let's say, I would have already glued my fingers onto the container. Okay, here we have it and now This is going to be the top of the cap. Okay, so I have my three beads stacked up. I just need them to be centered. And now I have a little container that looks like a bottle of perfume okay this one a bigger one same thing this is going to be the cap i actually bought a pound an entire pound <laughs> of uh, check glass and in that pound, you find a lot of things that you can use for the dollhouse. Of course, these are not going to dry instantaneously. I'm going to have to set them up, uh, uh, put them on the side to dry. I also have these charms. This actually came from the bead store. And unfortunately, when they were going out of business in my area, they put everything on 75% off sale. And I was very sad to see them go, but I did take advantage of the sale. And bought a lot of miniatures that, of course, are going to be great for my house. Okay. So this is a little bottle, a container. And I think I should file away so that it's not sharp right here. I can do that with a nail file. And here's another little bottle. I don't really know what it says, but it could be. It's strange how they're soft when I cut them. Normally metal jumps away when I trim it. These ones are staying right 
here. Same thing, I'm gonna have to file away the wrap corner. This is also a charm from the jewelry store. It's a treasure chest, but in this case, it's going to be a jewelry box. Again, I have to remove that little chain right there. And these items, I actually did buy this at the miniature store. This is a handheld mirror, a comb, and a brush. And this, I think, she's also going, they're also going to be stored inside. Oh, look, so we have clothes inside the closet, as it should be. Now on the bottom here, we're going to put the shoes. And the shoes, I noticed that both of them are the right side. But if you set them up in such an angle that is not noticeable, then we will ignore the fact that these people have to have the same foot on both sides. Okay, so this is one side. And now let's work on the other side. The other side, let's put some folded clothing. And then our little containers. And this is our fully stacked closet. Now it doesn't just look like a piece of furniture, it, but it actually looks like someone is living in this beautiful house to which you guys inspire me to continue. And please, if you haven't subscribed, do not wait bec because we are continuing on the renovation of this Newberg doll house. And we would like you to come on our adventure with us. Thank you.